So I grew up kind of in an activist home, but really just like you show and you live um, your witness for Jesus. And it wasn't just skin deep, like it was as deep as anyone can do. You know, we're always kind of learning and growing. Um, But I remember at a young age, five years old, I felt this draw toward other girls that I didn't sense was normal, quote unquote, like that normal girls didn't feel this toward other girls. And it wasn't, it's hard to even use the word attraction because you're five and it's just weird. (laughs) But boys were like my brothers. I have five brothers and six sisters, but my five brothers, like I scrapped with them, you know, I'd like fight with them. And I'd also play GI Joes and Legos and maybe it was more tomboyish, but it just like, they were not intriguing to me. Boys were not, they were smelly and dirty and I played GI Joes with them. Um, so I felt that, but growing up in eighties and nineties, moral majority, evangelical America, a lot of the language when it came to LGBT world was not, this is your version of broken sexuality that you need to surrender to the Lordship of Christ. Like everyone else is called to do. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The language that I at least interpreted in my little girl heart was there is a war on marriage. That was like a big deal. There was like a marriage war. Mm -hmm. And it felt like there was, what I heard was there was this homosexual agenda. I'm using air quotes right now because I wouldn't (laughs) recommend using that language. A homosexual agenda that's going to like come and murder babies in their sleep or something. Like It was that extreme. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like, oh boy, I sure feel safe to share this struggle in the church. It was like, no, you got to shut that mess down. And so I really did. Um, But if I may say, underneath those desires was a heart filled with good needs to be seen and known and loved. Mm -hmm. That's what we all have. We can see that in creation. You're studying Genesis 1 through 3. Like we Mm -hmm. all want to be seen and known and loved. And all of us, because of the fall, are born with a natural default predisposition or orientation, if you will, to get the good needs of our heart met in ways that don't actually satisfy and don't glorify God. Absolutely. We are all born that way. 